ब्रेन मसाला ब्रेन मसाला ब्रेन मसाला टका टक ब्रेन मसाला टका टक क्लासिफिकेशन इज हसन एंड यू कैन सी इन एरबिक डाउन हेयर This narration of Nimaja is a very yeah. weak narration. Wow, uh, they didn't grade it this week. Can you show me their grading? Yeah, it's at Hassan. Where did they say Hassan? Yes. By the way, he said, "Spot the liar, David Wood, Sam Shimon, and Anthony Croak." So imagine this is his title, number one. Now look what he is going to do. So they admitted that was an Ibn Majah. They were wrong about it being in a Tirmidhi. They were like, "Oh, it's Hassan. It's reliable." And you said it's Zayif. Not understanding the science. I have a mass. I do tahrij work. Right? I check hadith. Now that hadith that they mentioned from Ibn Majah, you see the video. He says from Ibn Majah. Here it is on your screen. The hadith is in fact Zayif. I know because I taught aqidah and I taught this hadith. Now the original book. So let me just pause it from here. This is not an original book. FYI. This is not an original book of Sunan Ibn Majah. So now you cannot see this. So I have done what I have done is I have take a screenshot of it so that I could zoom in. So now I'm going to show you this is not the original book of Sunan Ibn Majah. This is called Da'if Sunan Ibn Majah and the salis is Muhammad Nasiruddin Al Albani, but the problem is that this is not the original book. <laughs> exactly. This is this is the let's say mm -hmm. if I can if I can relate to it, this is the exegesis on the on the Ibn Majah. So by it, Albani. It is, yeah, by Albani, which is born in 1914. So yes, this this is Muhammad Nasiruddin Al Albani, and anyone who can read a little bit of an Arabic. Does know what it is written. That is why I'm showing it by zooming in as much as possible. Now, after this point, let me show you where the actual uh, Sunan Ibn Majah says in volume number five of his book. This is Sunan Ibn Majah, volume number five. The actual Sunan Ibn Majah, volume number five. This is Hadith number three seven eight one. It was narrated from Ibn Budaida that his father told that the Messenger of Allah said the Quran will come on the day of resurrection like a pale man and will say, "I am the one that kept you awake all night and made you thirsty during the day." Once again, let's read like a pale man. And now the classification is Hassan, and you can see in Arabic Asnad Hassan. Asnad Hassan down here. Asnad Hassan. So it's not Dar Salam that graded it Hassan. The actual hadith in the Arabic hadith, Arabic compiled by Ibn Majah. The Arabic hadith says Hassan. Yes, sir. Highlight the Arabic so they can see it. Now, Arabic speakers, read that the Arabic of Ibn Majah, not Dar Salam, inserting the word Hassan in English. The Arabic written by Ibn Majah. Ibn Majah's Arabic. Ibn Majah puts uh, Isnad Hasan. Sanad Hasan. Right. Read it again. For it, them. Yes, and it also says from Ahmad, An Waqiyah, Bashir bin Muhajir, uh, Huwa Hasan al Hadis. Basically, it is a Hasan Hadis. Wa Shayaha Abdullah bin Buraida. Like you read that, well, Hadith Shawahid, Anat Tibrani, Tibrani, huh? Anat Tibrani and Wagaira. Wagaira means a sectra, a sectra. So there are multiple, multiple people who are talking about this Hadith to be with the Hasan Asnad. Can you give me a reference? This narration of Nimaja is a very yeah. weak narration. Uh, they didn't grade it this week. Can you show me their grading? Yeah, it's at Hasan. Where did they say Hasan?